Stranger Things Season 2. Welcome to Narrator's Cut. Today we're going to show you a sci-fi series called Stranger Things Season 2. Watch out for spoilers and keep an eye on Episode 1. On October 28, 1984, a girl with psychic powers and a 008 tattoo on her arm joined a gang that robs a bank in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hawkins gets ready for Halloween. Maxine, Max, Mayfield, a new girl at school, attracts the lad. Conspiracy theorist Murray Bauman researches Eleven, thinking her to be a Russian spy. Will has started having periods of apparent hallucinations of the upside down and a gigantic tentacled shadow creature. In addition to standard medical checks, Will has seen the lab's new director Dr. Sam Owens since his return. He believes Will's bouts are PTSD from the anniversary of his absence. Owens is worried about the lab's basement gate expanding. Dinner with Barb's parents, who still think their daughter is gone, hired Murray to locate her. Hopper returns to his remote cottage in the woods with Eleven. Episode 2 Eleven fled the upside down but had to hide from agents. It's Halloween now. Eleven begs Hopper whether she can go trick or treating, but Hopper says no until he can arrange with Owens enabling her to live a regular life. More pumpkin fields decay throughout town, and Hopper finds an organic compound similar to the lab. Nancy wants to tell Barb's parents the truth about her death, but Steve warns her against it. On the contrary, Nancy becomes intoxicated and chastises Steve for his lack of empathy for Barb's parents. Jonathan takes Nancy home after Steve. Max joins the lads for trick or treating. Mike admits that he is attempting to reach Eleven when Will has another vision throughout the night. Eleven uses her skills to try and call Mike. Once home, Dustin discovers a bizarre monster in his garbage can. Episode 3 He spotted Eleven in the woods and pledged to look after her at his grandfather's old hunting lodge, provided she didn't leave. Bob urges Will to overcome his concerns, unaware of Will's episodes. They plan to meet Barb's mother at a public park the next day, concerned that Owens may be listening in on their phone calls. Dustin named the slug-like critter he discovered in his garbage bin D'Artagnan, Dart. It produces a noise that Will has heard in his hallucinations, so he assumes that Dart is from the upside down. Worried about the pumpkin crops, Hopper accuses Owens of failing to confine the gate. Tired of being alone, Eleven goes looking for Mike. She discovers him bickering with Max and misinterprets it as flirtation. She flees, broken. This time Will goes against Bob's advice to approach the shadow monster, but it snags him in the neck. Episode 4 Joyce and the kids wake up Will. When Joyce brings Will home, he acts oddly, scribbling on papers and insisting that the house be kept cool. Joyce contacts Hopper, and they find the scribbles match. Hopper knows the vines and leaves. Agents catch Nancy and Jonathan trying to reach Barb's mother and take them to the lab, where Owens shows them the upside-down gateway, confesses Barb died there and explains he wishes to keep foreign governments in the dark. They are freed, and Nancy covertly taped Owens's admission. Lucas is smitten with Max, but her nasty stepbrother Billy Hargrove steps in. Eleven lashes out at Hopper about her sneaking away smashing the cabin's windows in a frenzy. The following day, she uncovers Hopper's research on her biological mother, Terry Ives, and uses her skills to contact her. Dustin discovers Dart has escaped prison, eaten his cat, and become a newborn demogorgon. Hopper constructs a tunnel to the upside down in one of the pumpkin farms. Episode 5 Hopper is stuck in the tunnels and dies. Mike stays overnight at the buyers to aid Will. Will gets a vision of Hopper, 
forcing Joyce to ask Bob for assistance deciphering it. Bob recognizes the network as Hawkins and the pumpkin patch as Hopper's destination. To make the tale more digestible, Nancy and Jonathan take the video of Owens's admission to Murray. So Lucas tells Max the truth about Will's absence. Dustin captures Dart in his basement with Steve's aid. Terry and Becky Ives are found. Terry means Eleven that she attempted to save her at the lab and was exposed to brain-damaging shock treatment by Brenner. Eleven discovers a similar girl. Joyce, Bob, Will, and Mike save Hopper, but the lab scientists come and set fire to the tunnels. Will falls, convulses, and screams in anguish. Episode 6. In the lab, Will has memory loss. Assuming that the upside-down creatures have a hive mind, Owens hypothesizes that disrupting the tunnels would kill Will. Now afflicted by the shadow monster virus, Nancy and Jonathan spend the night at Murray's, where they must confess their affections. The next day, the group sent the video to the Chicago Sun-Times. Nancy and Jonathan uncover Will's sketches when they arrive home. Lucas, Max, Dustin, and Steve reunite to lure Dart to a junkyard. Max apologizes for his treatment of Lucas, blaming Billy's aggression on his father remarrying Max's mother. Dart appears, accompanied by a gang of juvenile creatures. The gang is surrounded until the pack escapes. Will finds a place the monster blocks him from seeing. Owen sends a team to investigate, unaware that Will is being misled. The teenage monsters assault the crew in the lab. Episode 7. Eleven discovers Callie, the other girl from Terry's recollections, in Chicago. Eleven and Callie are sisters since they have tattoos and were experimented on by Brenner. Callie can cast pictures into people's brains and seek Brenner's vengeance. As Eleven discloses Brenner's death, the group decides to murder Terry's tormentor instead. Callie shows Eleven how to use her wrath to increase her capabilities. The group heads to Ray's place to murder him after Eleven uses her talents to discover him. Eleven uses her abilities to strangle Ray, causing him to swear Brenner is still alive urgently. Eleven refuses to murder Ray after seeing a picture of his two young kids calling the cops and refuses to let Callie kill him. Avenging her mother, Callie tells Eleven to remain or return to Hawkins. Eleven sees Mike and Hopper's situation in the lab and returns while Callie and her crew flee the cops. Episode 8. It attacks the lab, killing most of the scientists. Mike urges Joyce to sedate Will to stop the monsters from following them. Mike, Joyce, Hopper, Bob, and Owens transport Will's corpse to the lab's security room. When the lab's power goes out, Bob steps forward to help the gang escape. Thanks to Bob's plan, Joey, Joyce, Hopper, and will all escape. Dr. Owens then follows Bob to the exit. But the monsters attack and maul him to death in front of Joyce. Nancy, Jonathan, Steve, Dustin, Lucas, and Max return the survivors to the buyer's residence. Desperate for vengeance on the shadow monster, the party hypothesizes that destroying the Mind Flayer would kill all beings tied to it, including Will. They can converse with Will via Morse code, who tells them to close gate. The Mind Flayer tracks them down and sends them after them. One of the animals falls through the glass and dies on the floor. The door opens, and Eleven enters, having defeated the other animals. Episode 9 Eleven and the gang come up with a way to seal the gate without killing Will. While Hopper and Eleven go to the lab to stop the portal, Jonathan, Nancy, and Joyce overheat Will to kill the virus. Mike, Dustin, Lucas, Max, and Steve plot to infiltrate the tunnels to draw the pack away from Hopper and Eleven. Billy comes to the buyer's home told by his father to locate Max, and fights Steve. 
They enter the underground to carry out their plan after Max sedates him. Nancy frees Will from the Mind Flayer's clutches by branding him. While the Mind Flayer tries to stop Eleven from closing the portal, she unleashes her rage and kills the monsters. After a month, Nancy's recording revealed the lab, forcing its closure. Barb is buried, and Owens, still alive, forges Eleven's birth certificate, names her Jane Hopper, attending their school's winter dance. The Mind Flayer is still alive in the Upside Down, looming above the school, monitoring the group. And that's it. Hope you enjoy it. And please leave a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel for more interesting movies to recap. Take care. See you at the next video.